I were in the Harry Potter world, I am 100% sure that my Animagus form would be a magpie. Hi friends! Hi! My name is Mia and this is My Virtual Vanity, a place where we both love makeup and we're quite critical of it. No critical here today though, because I stole a video idea from Kelly Gooch, shamelessly even, and I want to talk to you guys about my most unique single shadows in my collection. I've got plenty of single shadows that I find beautiful, pretty, uh, some that are great for one shadow looks. I've actually done a video on this. It's a bit older, but it's still okay to watch, so I'm gonna ping it over here. And shadows that do their job perfectly, but I find that these are the most unique that I have, either for the function they serve or the shade. The first single that I'm going to start with is one that I actually forgot to pop out of its packaging. Colourpop Glass Bowl. Now, you'll think, what's so special about Glass Bowl, Mia? It's just a duochrome. Well, my darlings, this is not just a duochrome. What's so beautiful about Glass Bowl is that it can be used and layered many different ways. If you use it on its own, the more you rub it into the eye, the more it gives the eye a sort of wet, uh, glossy, cold looking sheen because it does have that blue flip. If you use it with anything in the crease, it makes itch look look much more magical because of this subtle duo of chrome flip that it has. Moreover, you can also put it on top of other stuff and the base is transparent enough that it doesn't change the shadow very much. Maybe it makes it just a tad bit warmer, but it does add that blue flip. So why I think this one is so unique among all other blue shifting duochromes in my collection is that it can be used so many different ways, layered so many different ways. Speaking of blue duochromes, this next shadow doesn't need any introduction from me because if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know that I am obsessed. Nabla is my lord and savior and alchemy is its prophet. Alchemy has a strawberry type of base with a strong purple blue shift and this is this is gorgeous. This just makes me feel like a fairy. I love it to be used on its own because the more you blend it out, the more you lose the shift but gain the warmness in its base. Best applied with a finger, mind you, all over the lid. I also like using it with a purple or a red crease, red or brownish red, uh, because then it just, it gives it more dimension, but as is, this has enough dimension to just fulfill my wildest witchcraft and wizardry dreams. Continuing with yet another magical shade, take a shot every time I say magical, this is a Foxy Lady from Luxie Beauty. This is a purplish top with a gold flip. And this is it over here. What is so special about this is that it is so gorgeous used on its own because you've got this cold purplish base and then this gold flip that just makes your eyes pop so much. At least for my brown eyes, this makes the color in them pop so much. But also giving me a sort of wild and mystic type of look. For me, duochrome shadows and shadow in general is very much about how it makes me feel and how it can fulfill my dreams of a certain aesthetic in that particular day. And Foxy Lady just does that all on its own and it can be sheared out so the flip and the uh, darkness of the base shows up as being from your own eyes. I mean, not natural, but like magic from within as opposed to magic painted on. And I really, really do love this. More from Nabla, this is the shade Water Dream. And this is mostly a glitter topper. It can be used on its own, yes, but it shines best when used with other shades. What's so special about this is that the glitter is so fine and beautiful that it looks as if the light hit the ocean or the sea and you can just see the flickering of the light on the waves. 
and it's beautiful on top of everything any color its base is sheer enough that you can just see the the glitter i think it just adds a certain special something to any look where it's like glitter but make it classy Another quite classy shade is Melchior in Gold Dreams, which is quite a Natasha Denona gold palette-esque shade. Let me show you why. So this is how it looks like with a strong gold yellow base with a green flip. Beautiful to be used on its own or to end with any neutral look just to make it have a certain special something. Now this is subtle enough that it can add a bit of magic to any look without making it seem like you're trying too hard. The pan size, I'll admit, gives me anxiety, but Melchior pan sizes are like this. There's really nothing much we can do. It does perform beautifully on its own or with any other type of crease. I really like using it with a warm... Uh, subtle neutral crease because as I said it makes me look like there's something special about my eye look but without having tried too hard about it. One that is both great to be used on its own and as a topper shade is Davina Pixie Sticks. This one has a cold candy pink base with a strong green gold bluish glitter shift in any case it is very beautiful now this one i am wary of using on its own because i don't feel that it blends out greatly on my skin tone however when used with a pink lid pink crease or even a greenish purplish sort of crease god that flip is just it's just the icing on the magic cake it just it's so beautiful and the pink base also is great when layered over everything else. Of course, it will change the color. So you have um, a blue lid and you put this on top. It's going to turn purple with, a, with the flip that it already has. If you are careful enough to add a, a, a small layer and not just pile the shadow on. Sydney Grace Golden Peach. Now, this is very pigmented. This cannot be used as a topper. Why it's so unique is simply I do not have any other shade like this. This is a peachy orange with a golden flip. Look how beautiful this is. Just look how gorgeous and pigmented this is. This swatch could go on for miles. And it is such a beautiful addition to any warm eye look. But be wary because when you wear this, this packs a punch. There is no way you'll come out with a subtle look while using this. This is out there and I love it so, so much. The final single that I want to talk about is Igneous Cosmetics African Amethyst. And it is by far the most unique purple I have in my whole collection. This is how it looks like. As you can see, this is a blue-based purple, but this just makes brown eyes pop like no other. It just brings out golden green flecks in my eyes that I absolutely had no idea were there. And I like using it as a soft wash all over the lid because this can be sheared out or build up. And I also enjoy using it as a crease color, as a liner color. Just a gorgeous shade. Igneous Cosmetics did such a great job with this one. And these are all of the poorly done swatches of the shades that I want to talk about. The shades that are my most unique in my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what are the most unique singles in your collection. I'm always up for recommendations. As I said, Magpie, Shiny Things. I love everything about those. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope I'll see you the next time. Bye!